Lake Powell has been on the decline in terms of the amount of water stored in that reservoir since uh, about the year 2000. And in fact, when Lake Powell was at its lowest level this spring, there was about 100,000 acres of land that was previously inundated by Lake Powell that is now exposed. The majority of that landscape does fall under the category of drier landscapes. In tributary canyons to Lake Powell and the Colorado River, especially in canyons where there's flowing water much of the year, there are relatively native ecosystems reestablishing very quickly. On the order of a couple years, we're starting to see willows, native grasses, a few more years after that, even species like cottonwoods. Beavers are coming back to some of these tributary canyons. I saw a Mexican spotted owl in Dark Canyon, which is uh, a very rare species. So this is a very dynamic landscape. And I, I like to use the terminology that of ecosystems are reestablishing in these landscapes because restoration of a landscape suggests that it's the landscape is going back to something that it was. And the reality is, is this landscape is very changed from Lake Powell being there because the reservoir deposited a tremendous amount of sediment in these tributary canyons. And this sediment is pretty loose sediment. So that is very different than the landscape was before Lake Powell. How long will this continue to be a dynamic landscape? Are we going to continue to see these changes? as sediment erodes away, or is vegetation going to stabilize these sediments? And then we're going to have maybe even a richer ecosystem with more plant life than existed before the dam. That, that's a question I don't have an answer to yet. While there is something lost by Lake Powell being lower, and that boat-based recreation being more difficult in many cases, especially with uh, the challenge of keeping marinas open. I think that there is something gained in visiting the landscapes that were once buried by Lake Powell because they, they aren't these desert wastelands. They're actually, you know, very, very surprisingly lush places.